Hello guys and welcome to another video. I'm Aidy from Pixel Profits and today I'm going to show you how to install plugins in Audacity. Audacity is a fantastic program for recording and editing your audio, especially considering the fact that it's free. It's a great program to get started with for beginners and will allow you to make voiceovers, commentary and podcasts sound great. It's quite user friendly and there are also a number of free plugins available that further enhance your ability to create great sounding audio. Not all of the plugins come included with the program though, so I'll show you where to find them and how to install them. I'm also working on a series of beginner's guides on how to use Audacity at the moment, so if that's of interest to you, then hit that subscribe button and notification bell so that you're informed as soon as I release that series. Also, if you find this tutorial useful, like it and leave me a comment, it's always greatly appreciated. I'll also try to answer any questions you have, so feel free to ask of course, and if you're new to the channel, you can expect in-depth and detailed tutorials, advice, reviews and guides to help you create awesome content fast. So subscribe if that's of interest to you. Alright, with all that out of the way, let's get started installing plugins. So first we need to visit the website in the description below. Now, something important before we download a plugin, the plugin needs to be 32-bit, and so it can't be 64-bit, and it needs to have its own graphical interface to be able to work. Um, it also can't be a plugin like a synth that changes the audio while it's being written or played in real time. So it has to process the audio signal after you've recorded it, if that makes sense. Don't worry if this sounds confusing. There's a list of supported plugins on the Audacity website and some troubleshooting advice if things don't work properly for you the first time. You can see that over here in this tab that I've got right here. So we're going to download a Noisegate plugin from the Nyquist plugin page. So let's click on this link here under the Nyquist plugin section. Nyquist plugins are text file based and can be opened, read and modified using a simple text editor. Now, if we scroll down, we're looking for the effects plugin section and then the Noisegate, which is under section four, dynamics processing. So. We want to click that and download the file. And once we have downloaded it, we can open up the location where you've downloaded it to. And then we want to go to our C drive. Now this is the default location where Audacity will be installed. So if you change that location, then you need to navigate to wherever you've installed it. But normally it will be C drive and program files x86 and Audacity, and then there's a plugins folder that you can see right here. So what we want to do is paste the files into the plugins folder here. Okay, so once that's in there, we want to open up Audacity, and then we want to go to the effects menu, and under the effects menu, you're going to see a list of your plugins. So now at the top of the menu, you can see add and remove plugins. So if we open that, and then we'll see a list of all the plugins on our computer. So click show all up here, just to make sure you see everything. And then you can scroll down until you find the noise gate that we've just installed. And here it is right here, and you can see the file path there as well, which is where we installed it just now. So you just left click to select that one, and then you press enable and then you can close that window just by pressing OK. Now when we go back to our effects menu, further down the page, and usually it appears down the bottom section here, you've got two sections as you can see, you can see here now we have noise gate. Now if it didn't pop up for any reason, just try restarting Audacity um, and then you should see it. So that is the basics of how you install a plugin in Audacity. So if you found this video useful, Leave me a like and a comment, and I'll try and answer any questions, of course. And in my up and coming video series on how to use Audacity for beginners, I'll be covering all the most commonly used editing tools and techniques to enable you to make great sounding audio. And part of this series will cover how to use the Noisegate plugin that we just installed. So if you're interested in that and other videos on how to create quality content, then subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell as well. As always, guys, I really appreciate your time and I hope to see you in the next video. Take care, and thanks a lot for watching.